crying again. Uh, word of warning, this video is not going to be edited because I still don't have my work computer back. This is going to be a short, angry rant about how terrible certain things are. So, to let you know, my work computer is about a three and a half year old decent Dell work machine. It was made to do audio video work, right? So, I bought it specifically because I wanted to have a machine dedicated for doing work for my channel, holding a bunch of assets I could hold on to, to have all kinds of uh, funny memes and videos stockpiled on an extra terabyte hard drive that goes with it, has plenty of RAM, has a great processor for doing all kinds of AV work, uh, it has uh, my editing software on it, etc, etc. So, it's a dedicated work machine for what I do, for Discordant Dragons, for all the activism stuff I do, all the funny memes I collect, the artwork, the, the articles, the images I collect to make my, you know, pro-white propaganda stuff, all of that. All of that is on that machine. So, it had two keys go bad, the W key and the 2 key. And for the longest time, I just dealt with it because it didn't matter. But I finally decided to get it repaired about maybe six weeks ago, right? It's been frustrating. The keyboard's gotten a little worse in the last six months. So I said, you know what? It doesn't cost much to buy an extra uh, an extra keyboard. I know the guy uh, locally. He, he uh, Andy and somebody else, I forget his brother, but he passed away. Uh, they have ran a local repair business for like 40 years working on electronics. He's friendly. He works for an affordable rate. So I said, hey, Andy, will you replace this keyboard for me? Uh, he said, sure, I'll be glad to. He is. Just bring it by. It'll only take me about an hour. So I said, okay. So I go to Dell's website. I talk to an agent. They don't speak fucking English at all. All they do is just read me or regurgitate to me stuff that I think is on a script in front of them. So I wanted to talk to someone who actually knew what the fuck they were talking about. After two agents of trying to talk through live chat to get to someone, I talked to someone who seems like they actually are responding to me, and I say, I want a replacement keyboard for this make and model of my Dell computer. I showed them an exact picture of the plate on the back of it. I showed them a picture of the box it came in. I showed them the instruction book I had. I said, I need a replacement keyboard for this machine. They said, oh, okay, this is the exact thing that you need. And I said, are you sure? Because there's four different kinds of this particular model. And they said, yes, this is the exact keyboard for all of your series of Dell. And I said, okay. So I gave them the 40 bucks and I ordered it. My friend Andy goes to open it and he realizes, wait a minute, this isn't what the specs uh, from the website say the inside of this computer should look like. And come to find out, it's because that that kind of Dell was mass produced and very popular and surprise surprise it's mass manufactured in China for everything after the first run so inside things that are supposed to be screws are not they're those permanent little bolt things that that machines make little they're like a mix of metal and plastic I guess some kind of little rivet they're not meant to come out and what makes things worse there were corners cut uh, in the assembly so Whenever he opened the shell, even though he took out all of the screws that were supposed to come out, there were internal screw things bolting part of the frame plate to the shell. So when he takes out all the screws and uses his tool, to, his little plastic tool to, to, to crack the shell and lift it open, two things inside fucking snap and break because they're just riveted to the frame. There's no way to know that. The specs that he has on hand from the company for that make and model of Dell don't talk about that. And he says that he's seeing this more and more with all of the electronics that he has to repair. They're not made to spec. They all come from China. They're mass manufactured garbage. And in China, they cut corners and don't follow the specs correctly. So it makes them a nightmare to try to repair. So he ordered an entire new computer for me. Uh, my exact make and model of Dell. Uh, he knows a guy that has a bunch of extra ones, so for like 600 bucks, he ordered a new one, a uh, whole kit and caboodle, and he said that he's going to either cobble together from that one to fix mine, or just put my hard drives in the new one and see how that works. So, I hate how everything is. I blame it all on the anti-whites who have sold us up the river for generations. Look. Manufacturing, gone. Our way of life sold away, pissed away, to make big companies more profitable. God, it makes me so fucking mad. You can't rely on anything anymore. The people you talk to in, 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 uh, in customer care, they're not even American. They don't even speak English as a primary language. 
then you have to deal with manufacturers cutting corners because it all comes from China or India or some shit, and nobody gives a fuck. It's just there's too much business and too many things going on for there to ever be any level of quality control, especially when everything is a global market, because nobody cares about a, a, a pleasing a particular group, a particular area more than others anymore. It's just bullshit. I hate it. Now, here comes a car, and I'm not going to be editing this, so we're just going to have to deal with it. So I'm just going to keep talking while the car drives past. Anyway, so the... The other Dell computer that he ordered won't even be here till the 11th of this month. That's another, what, nine days? See, today is Monday, and I think that means it's the, the 12th. I can check on my phone if it will scroll down while I'm talking. It is September 5th already. Okay, so another six days. Ugh. Anyway, so it'll come in on the 11th, hopefully. And then in the next day or two after that, he says he should be able to fix it and get it working again, or just put my components in a new shell. So, tonight, uh, I'm shooting this Monday morning. It's early Monday morning. It is rather beautiful. It has been a stormy wonderland all weekend. It has come wonderful rainstorms. I have enjoyed the weather. It has been a good yiz weekend, but uh, thankfully the rain let up earlier this morning, so I knew that I could come outside and make a morning walk video. And I'm just going to upload this raw. Uh, it's probably going to be way too high res. Uh, th this short video is probably going to be a bazillion megabytes because that's how phones do. Even though I have it on the lowest setting, these phone videos are ridiculously big. i got to size them down with my software. But this, this upload out here on my hillbilly internet is probably going to take three hours even though it's like a six minute video. Anyway... I just wanted to make a video for the channel to let you guys know why I'm not doing anything other than my Monday stream right now. Because it's a fucking chore trying to do any kind of content creation or content hosting or stream stuff when I don't have my computer or any of my software or any of my elements that I use to do stuff with. Anyway, hopefully that'll be fixed and I'll get it back the middle of this month, either the 12th or the 13th. We will see. So, knock on wood, pray for me, etc., etc., but the show must go on, so I'm going to get back to doing Discordant Dragons on Monday nights for the next two or three weeks, even without my work machine. So, it's going to be choppy, it's not going to be as smooth or as good as normal, which I know it ain't the best because I live in the middle of fucking nowhere with terrible internet, but I'm going to do the best I can to bring you quality entertainment, make you laugh, talk about news, and share, hopefully, something positive with you about this crazy world we live in. I love you guys. Keep heart, no matter what. God...